Hi, I'm Lynn Russell and I'm here with Caroline from Bayliss Horse Feeds, my very long-term sponsors, and we're here to talk about clinical issues and today we're going to talk about colic. Um, colic is basically horse tummy ache. Um, horses, unlike people, can't be sick. So if they get any problems, then they are withheld in the stomach and they need to be dealt with. And colic can be very, very serious. Um, one way to avoid colic is going back to these. You need to make sure that the gut is working. So you need to make sure your gut is like this and not like this. And you need to have fibre, high fibre, feed little and often, feed plenty of it, and do remember to give your horse the opportunity to have hay because the more he's eating fibre, don't you agree, the less chance he is going to get colic. A colic can be very, very serious, can result in surgery, can cost a lot of money, and it is a very difficult issue to deal with. Um, we, touch wood, are quite lucky that we don't have too much of it. Um, but again, I put that down to the way I feed. Um, I feed little and often, the horses don't bolt their feed because they know they're going to have plenty of it. Horses that bolt their feed tend to not digest it, then it tends to impact in the intestine and then you start getting problems. If you think your horse has got colic, the symptoms to look out for are first of all the horse may appear to be distressed. He may be walking around his stable which he doesn't normally do. He may look round at his stomach frequently. He may pick up his foot and start kicking his stomach because he is in pain. He may start to get up and get down and roll. If he does start to get up and get down and roll, this needs to be avoided because you don't want him to roll and twist his gut. You need to keep him walking around. If it's a very mild colic, if you're walking around, keep him exercised, it may pass. If you're at all concerned, again, as I've said before, you must contact your veterinary surgeon. Again, I have the experience to recognise these things and can deal with them early, but you might not, so please contact your vet. I'm going to pass you over to Caroline now, who's going to tell you a little bit about food and how to deal with a horse that has colic. Thank you. Well, certainly, as Lynn said, fibre, exceptionally important for, for any horse, any pony, just to make sure that the whole digestive system stays healthy. So the horse evolved as a trickle feeder, therefore, you know, you need to be providing hay, haylage, pretty much on an ad lib basis. Obviously, if weight issues are there, then adapt it as such, but keep it all working healthy and um, keep everything moving. Now, in the case if unfortunately a colic case arises, um, the feeding management can, is dependent on you know, exactly what type it is, where it happened, etc. in the system. But as a general sort of guide, you want to be looking to feed very digestible fibres. Now, haylage is often more digestible than hay, so can be the, the, the preference of fibre choice in, in certain cases. I just want to add a point about haylage, if yeah. I might. You do want to make sure that your haylage is quite dry, because if it's wet, sometimes that can encourage colic. Yeah, and certainly, and also if you've had gas production, sometimes yes, it can yeah, make them a can. bit more gassy. Yeah. So if it's been that type, then yeah. obviously your well, hay would be better. If we come across that, we would open a bale and we would spread the haylage out and yeah. let it dry before we yeah. Yeah. So it, again, with feeding, with clinical issues, all very yeah. individual, isn't it? it is. So, you know, we can certainly give a general guide. But on the hard feed side of things, if the situation arises, then it's often a case of, I mean, to prevent it, as Lynn said, feed little and often, make sure you're not overloading the system, cook, feed cereals that have been cooked. So if you feed a compound feed, a mix, all the cereals will have been cooked, so they'll be more digestible. Um, but if the problem arises going forward, looking to make sure that you perhaps feed the meals smaller with the use of a balancer. Yeah, there's another yeah, little tip too. Um, if your horse is a bolter, then the best thing to do is go down to the beach, <laughs> go and get some nice big rocks, yeah. put it in the manger yeah. because it will stop the horse gobbling his food. Yeah, definitely. Um, because horses are pigs. Some yes. of my cobs are Hoovers. real pigs. You put the feed in one minute, it's gone the next. That's right. So, so, and, and using the things like the chaffs, yeah. do you find, I mean, Lynn uses a lot of the chaff, don't you, do. to help yeah. slow them down yeah. and help them digest it all yeah. sort of efficiently. Mm -hmm. So certainly all those tips will, will help to keep a healthy horse. And plenty of water. Indeed. Horses need water. Yes, very important. <laughs> More important. Yeah. I hope you found these tips useful. I'd like to say thank you again to Caroline from Bailey's Horse Feeds. Thank you. And please, if you do have any issues with things that we've gone through, do call your vet because your vet is qualified to deal with. We're only here to give you a guide. Thank you very much.